What's going on, guys? How are you here on a Wednesday? It is 9.34. As good as everybody here, two and a half minutes here before we get going on a heavy haul build, build drive. It won't take us long to do it tonight. Um, we've got a good idea what we're going to do tonight. There's only really one big heavy haul on this on this, uh, on this this one, but I am going to show you everything that we can on this one. So, uh, it is good to uh, it is, uh, it is it's good to see everybody here. So... <clears throat> Woo! What's up, Jordan? How are you, man? Who's Lito? What's up, man? Andrew M. Good to see you there, Santh Boone. Here we get some guys in green. Adrian, what's up there? All the way from Germany, from Deutschland, from Bavaria. Good to see you, man. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, country it is. It's nice. The burner. I like it, man. It's good. Yo, Alex, what's up, little man? James, what's up, man? Asphalt Gator, good to see you guys. Let's see me scroll up here. Patrick Deals in here early. Seth Boone, man. Wonder what's going on. Brian King, what is up, man? Good to see you guys. Uh, let's see me scroll, make sure I got everybody there. Yeah, we think we did there. Dead, gone, dead Zone Gamer, man, what's up? Deutschland, yes, Deutschland. <laughs> Bavaria. Yeah, I knew that part, man. Can we do a run of Saskatchewan? No. Uh, there is no Saskatchewan that I care to visit. I mean, it's sure it's nice in real world, just not an ATS. Uh, yeah, so, uh, unfortunately. Uh, we could go south. Uh, Mexico is beautiful. I hear Cabo San Lucas is really nice this time of year. <laughs> County Truck, what's up, man? Bill Warm, what's up, Rude Boy? Good to see you, man. Brian, what's up? I am doing good, man. Dallas Underwood, good to see you, man. 150 in chat already. Uh, we got uh, Oscar Gomez uh, gave us in a sub band, and Chandler3471 is fixing to roll in. So thank you there, Chandler. Appreciate it. Mr. Bear, what is up, man? Paul Braxton, good to see you guys. Wolf Gaming, uh, it is, man. Heavy Hall, 121,000 is going to be our first load, so yeah, man. Christian, what's up? William, KP1805. You can see, man, Orrin Hall as well. It's a nice little, like, tar solo, too, man. I mean, it's pretty nice for, like, you know. Like, yeah, it's pretty legit, actually. Edible King, what's up, man? Nah, we won't, man. We never do. Tony, what's up, bud? Good to see you, man. Uh, for the 3D9, which one? Which link you looking for there, twin? <laughs> There's a lot of 3D9s out there, man. Are you talking about the rolling 3D9 mod? Check the link. Uh, description, sorry. What's up, Trip? Good to see you, man. Carson, uh, Avia Stamp, what's up, man? Jeremy Hart, what's up, buddy? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. I think I got better. Yeah, Kells, what's up, man? I think I got you in there. Good man. Mike Pearson, what's up, man? I like the little, little duet guitar solo. It's kind of nice, too. I actually got to listen to this one. This is nice. I did a good job on this one. Yes, sir, man. Ryan, what's up, man? Yeah, man. I know. I figured a lot of people actually want to see the heavy haul on this one because it's not one of our normal builds. We don't normally build heavy hauls, but this this is a uh, plus. We get to feature some free mods. Well, not free. I mean, kind of. We, we kind of talked about them yesterday, but this one we'll actually look at them. So, uh, so anyway, all right. Tell you what. Let's go ahead. Hang on. We got five seconds. <laughs> Right, I got my trucking shirt on. I got what on. I got a plaid shirt on. That 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 didn't that delineates a, a trucking <laughs> tr trucking shirt. It's, it's plaid. <laughs> okay, well you know it is what it is. Uh, what's up, Bill Billy? Uh, so so anyway, okay, okay. Um, a couple things. So if there's what's up, Chris Buchanan, good to see you, man. Uh, Joy, what's up? Uh, so a few things if you guys want to. Make sure you check the link. Uh, I mean, sorry, the description. Uh, contest is still going on. That's December 1st drawing. That should be Tuesday of this coming week. Uh, so don't forget if you have not entered that, it's the Gleam link. So you'll um, catch that one. And then I should. Let me just. Oh, crap. I just closed that window. Let me just double check. Um, and let me double check for you guys. Where is my... Hang on a minute. All right, let me pull uh, let me pull mine up here because I want to make sure that I've got the right correct links for you guys. Um, yeah, so Jess Mods is right here in the very top. Uh, so make sure that if you want to, you can check his stuff out there. Uh, right there, yes, Facebook.com, Jess507. That is the guy who's the creator of this truck. Send him a message to, hey, FTG, send me. 
uh, said you might have a truck that I would like to purchase from you. Um, and then right under that, you'll see the contest there. Um, I've got uh, the the Roland 389 mod, which I think is what you're uh, you're talking about. I've got the contest in there. I've got the preview videos and also the message for Joel Collins. Uh, if you guys want to contact him, if you don't want to wait on the double, if you don't want to wait on the giveaway, and you're like, yeah, no, I don't care. I just want the truck now. Um, so anyway. I, well, you know, I actually, Mike, a lot of these trucks, this one's really not new. This one's been out for a long time. So, um, you know, it, you know, it, <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Uh, so it's, uh, uh, it won't be till later, Bill. Uh, we're I probably won't be doing the drawing until nine ish that night. I, I'll let everyone know. I'll throw some stuff out on Twitter. Uh, I'll put a post here on YouTube as well. And then, uh, and then I'll, I'll schedule it early. So that way you guys will have plenty of time in advance to come in. So, um, so anyway, all right, man, well, let's, uh, let's go ahead. Let's, let's get on this thing. I've literally haven't really done anything. It's the way this truck comes. Um, so we're going to kind of build some things up. It's not going to be quite as in depth cause we're not going to be going through all of them lower than the fenders and stuff. We're going to pick out some jamming tires on this thing, uh, and pick out some really nice big old heavy set wheels. We've already got a trailer picked out. So literally it's like, we're just in here customizing the truck. Um, and then we're going to be ready to rock and roll in there. So anyway, uh, trailer is Pingus. So you can do a P I N G A S. Um, so just type in Pingus self in Google. I'll, I'll upload that and pin that comment. I just forgot to do it. Um, so anyway, okay, let's go ahead. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and hit it, man. Let's get a little, little build action going on here. Then we'll take a look at the trailer. Um, all right, let's go. Ahead. So flat top, but here's my two options, guys. I got the XL. We can still do a heavy haul with the raised roof, although it's not as uh, as normal. So we can do the mid roofs. Are you guys cool with the mid roof? She does have super singles, but I'm going to put doubles on it just because it looks beefier. I'm not a big fan of the super singles. I don't think like they're they're wide enough or big enough. Uh, twin. I, most of my mods do not come out of there. Um, most of all of them are pretty much you know mm, accessory mods. Um, kind of the little filler extra mod, the filler mods, what I call them, those come out of Steam Workshop. Typically, all of my trucks, trailers, and stuff are, are payware, actually. Uh, Freightliner picked up. I have no idea. I do have my thoughts on that, um, but I do not know when they're going to do it. <laughs> so, we well, you know, we did. A, I tell you what, let's do the mid roof since we did the raised roof. All right, we have already done the uh, we've already done the the big sleeper XL. So let's do the mid roof because we didn't do it last time. Um, and I think some guys were actually wanting me to do that. So I'm going to just put the eight by six in this, in this, uh, in this one. Um, so there's what we got there. So let's go ahead. I'm going to put in, um, so I guess was it, um, hang on a minute. Where, where did that go? Guess was that it? I was thinking it said something else, but I guess that's it. Okay, all right. Never mind. I'm just kind of like I'm thinking here. Something about that doesn't feel right. Um, we'll put the 18 speed on there. Uh, we'll come back to interior. We'll come back to paint. Let's go ahead and let's let's, let's jazz it up here. Yeah, we'll put a we'll put a, a halfway decent one. We're not going to. It's under 21,000 pounds. Like I wouldn't mind, you know, struggling a little bit, having to change some gears. You know. <laughs> yeah, we did. Uh, yeah, we saw the cat. Um, I put the, um, we put the cat, uh, C15 in there and then we did the, uh, we did that Detroit diesel. Uh, it's hard not to go with that loop, man. What's up, Shane? I'm good, man. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Sir Kale's up there if you guys want to. He's got the, uh, he's got it right there. A selfie.com, the pink bonds. It's it. I think it's 25 for this one. It's really, really, really good. Um, it's another one of those, uh, top notch, uh, trailer mods. We pulled that thing a lot on here. So let's go ahead. Let's start on the wheels, man. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in just our regulars. Now this is Smarty's wheel pack. This is my favorite wheel. Um, John Ruta's wheels are pretty, uh, good. Um, if you like, uh, let's see, we'll go and put them there. Now that's John Ruta's wheels. Uh, not a bad wheel mod. Um, I just, I don't like them the best. I really like this one the best. I like the chrome texture on this. It was a little like washed out, almost like a polished, even though it's supposed to be chrome. This one right here, I really, really, really like. Um, and then you add these big ones. So I've been looking at these tires thinking I could go up, um, and I'm going to put the 31580s on the front, the fuel max. Um, and then you've got some of you got so much of these ultra grips, which we're not going to need, but I am going to put the fuel max up on front. Um, it's really going to beef this thing up. It's going to be nice. So let me add, uh, 
I'm just gonna go ahead and add some of these on here. We'll do this really do this part pretty quick. And then I'll uh we'll go ahead and add these on the back. That way we at least, you know, we're pretty much ready to rock and roll on the back side here. And that way we can add fenders and whatever else where color covers. It's a little limited when you get an eight by six when it comes to the fenders that it adds. I wish I had a little bit more options to separate them. So you could do a front fender and then it separates and does the back fenders the same, but they just kind of stretch to do all three of them, uh, all three of them the same. Um, uh, so let's do where to go, where to go, where to go, where to go. There it is. All right. I see some follows coming through there on Twitter guys. So thank y'all. Appreciate it. Um, all right, so here's where it gets interesting. So you got to put the same, the same uh, wheels on all three of these, not necessarily the fronts. So we got a 315 by 80 on the fronts. So where I think we're going to do a 290 by 290, a 290 by 80. So let me get the wheel on this one, and then this is how it's the best way to do this. If you guys have never done this, if you have a lot of mods, like if this wheel mod is what you want to do, this is what you want to do. Y'all check this. See all these, see all these, all these things right here. It's a ridiculous amount of wheels to go through. So you type in what you want. So I want the 290. Well, that's not it. By 80. Is that right? Okay, hang on. Let's figure out which one it was. Um. Yes. Uh, okay, nope, 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 nope. Okay, wait a minute. Good years. That's not it. See, here's their singles. They're supers. And I'm not a huge fan of them. Some of them are better than others. Some just kind of just plumb stink. Yeah, it's the 31580s are freaking massive. Absolutely huge. What do you do? All right, fuel max. Okay, wait a minute. We're getting close. 295. Maybe it's the 295 80s. That must have been what it was. That must have been what it was. All right, so what's the top one on this one? I almost got myself because this one, I'm trying to match them up so we don't have two. Marathon, that's it. Let's do the marathon wheels. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll do a metallic, but. Um, yeah, we'll do a metallic, but we'll change it up some. Let me let me find the marathon. K Max. Let's see. There it is. Oh, not the 295, 60. 295, 80. Here we go. That's what I need. 295 and then 80. Yeah, see, there you go. There we go. All right, so now we can do the same thing here. 295, 80, and then 295, 80. And then you got to click that off, and that way now now we can add these back on. So we'll do that. We'll add the chrome cap. Let's erase this one here. There we go. Uh, we hadn't done it yet, power driver. Uh, it's going to be coming in um, December first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, there it is. What's up, Kadarius? How are you? Uh, Twenty-five on this one. Uh, I hope they smell like. Uh, I hope they smell like fresh rubber there. They look good. I like these. I think the tread's a little small on it, but that's okay. Whatever. All right, let's add these last ones in here. Then we'll pretty much be ready to rock and roll in these. What if we do, uh, how about we do that? Let's do the, uh, let's do those caps on there. I actually like those. Yeah, so the tire mods, uh, so this tire mod, if you want this one, um, this one is in the, uh, it's in the uh, um, Steam Workshop. So it's the real tire mod. That's what it's called, real tires mod. Um, and it's got a stupid amount of these. And now they all fit on the regular default wheels and the smarty wheels. They, they're a little bit, I don't want to say they're off, but they're just a little bit on the outside lip of these wheels. But if you run the default ones in there, they look perfect. But I mean, who's going to do that? Nobody. So I'm kind of, kind of breaking the proverbial rules here on this one. Um, let me see what the fuel max looks like. Cause I feel like I don't really know which one's better. They're both 295 80s. But this way we'll at least match the front tire. It's a fuel max. It's just a huge one. <laughs> 315 by 80. So there you go. There, There's a nice... Shoot, man. We're going to go back to the other one. Uh, 295. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, okay. We'll stay with it. We'll stay with that one. All right. So, only other thing for us to do now. I'm going to go out. I'll just start from the back. How about with this? We start from the back, work our way up front. Um, we're not going to be carrying a bull trailer. So, let's do let's do the new style custom. We'll add these and we'll go ahead and let's let's add some lights in there. Why not? We'll start with let's we'll start with some lights. What's up, postman? Yeah, so shiny. I know they are. I, I like them, man. I, I like uh I like these. These are like my favorite ones. They look good in the game. I think that's why I like them so much. John Rudis, and it's not his fault. I just think sometimes like the I don't think sometimes it does a, a really great job. Let's do let's do blinkers red. And then we'll add um we're gonna do these. Let's let's not do brake lights. Let's do uh, rear lights. There we go. So that way they'll just cut on with the, uh, all right. And then we'll add the round break red, right? Red. All right. So that way, there we go. All right. So now we'll put us a couple reversers in here. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> uh, I, th I think I know what you meant there. Sexy truck, thanks. Yeah, you might want to check your spelling on that next time. YouTube was like, hey, this might be an inappropriate comment. <laughs> you know what? Bull, I, I would second that, man. I, and that's fair. And that's fair. That's there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. Let's add a few uh actually, you know what? Let's let's just do half of those. Let's just add a couple of mini brake lights right here at the bottom. And then we'll uh we'll leave that at that. Because we'll also have brake lights here on this part. So let's add, that's a, that's a really good, I like it's my favorite headache rack of this whole pack. Let's put the complete pack on here. Uh, what's up? Thank you there, Corinthians. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, thanks to these guys, man. Uh, Eric and Shea Howard, what's up? Thank you there, Kales, for running this stuff. Uh, he is, uh, I appreciate that, man. Uh, so you mind, y'all can borrow any of those and share those duties off whenever you get a chance. I appreciate it. Uh, so yeah, so uh, real tire mods, and I, you know, one of these days I'm will probably here in the next. Uh, I might do that over a little vacation here. We might actually try to couple and put most of my like my go tos for Steam Workshop and just kind of link those, and that way you guys can, uh, and hopefully they'll stay where they're at linked, and we won't have to worry about them running off and going anywhere. <laughs> um, so here's the painted ones. I don't really care. I can honestly just go with the regular stock one. Um, so there we go. So there's that. And we can add if you want to. So here's what we got on the fenders. Um, so I'll ask you guys, uh, put a one in chat if you just want to do three chromed covers. Um, if you don't, uh, put a one in chat for that. Put a, Let me find you something else because a lot of these are going to be more of a custom style fender and I'm just not feeling them. Um, paint is probably going to wonder what, depending on what kind of color we do it. I wish we had one where it was just the front slash fender, um, and then and then basically you'd have it open in the back. So, Caden, you too. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it, man. Um, and then you've got, yeah, so you've got painted classic. So, really, the only options we got are this one right here, chromed, and I think you're probably just better off. To, all right, so do this. Put a one in chat if you want to see chromed fenders on the back, uh, or put a two in chat if you want to see them painted. Um, and I'm not sure the painted version is, hang on, that one, chrome fenders paint too, there we go. So there's the painted version. Um, while you guys are putting that in chat, uh, I will go ahead and, uh, let's, let's see, let's go ahead and pick us up some coloration here. I have not got a skin on here, so legend says two, but more people are saying one difference there. What color, I, I want to do like a red, I want to do something, something classic but not too like flashy. So that would be the red. The chrome honestly is going to look good with red. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, so I'll probably do something like this. Maybe a nice like uh, we probably could swell in a little bit of a burnt orange. Let's see. Let me figure out where that orangey. Yeah, something like that. So like almost like a candy. And then we'll throw uh, we'll throw just a little bit of sparkle in there, but not not really enough. It's going to be a really glossy. Nice, glossy, deep red, something like that. Yeah, red looks good. Um, let's see here. Let me, let, me, let me show you guys what we're going to do here. Let's see what chrome looks like, man. We might even do black also on the... Uh, might do black. Might just go back and do black on this. Let's see. Hang on a minute. Where is my chassis? 
Yeah, see the black on there, man. That just looks. Yeah, we'll keep black on there. You need, you need, you need some contrast. All right, let's see what the uh, chrome finners look like. Yeah, let's do chrome, man. Let's do chrome. That looks, that looks too snazzy. You got all the chrome in the back, plus the diamond plate in the middle. Those wheels. We'll keep these. Uh, we can change steps around. I don't necessarily mind that step, honestly. We'll keep this. Uh, we'll just change the straps on this. Um, but I, I don't actually mind that at all. Why not? It could be cold in Colorado. We'll throw an extra heat on there. Why it never hurt nobody? <laughs> oh yeah, well, yeah. We'll leave. Okay, we'll leave it there. All right, sweet. <laughs> there you go, Douglas. I got you there, man. <laughs> also, we can match the trailer. Uh, I don't know if Pinga's. Ah. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it'll. I don't know if it'll save. I don't. The red tray looks weird on all of those because they're not shiny. They're like a dull, like almost like a matte red, and it looks kind of weird. Um, we actually need to hang on a minute. We need to. We need to. Man, that looks nasty. <laughs> looks absolutely disgustingly nasty. Let's tone that first color down a little bit. There we go. So kind of like this copperish. So just a just a, a word of advice for, and I get this like people all the time are asking me, um, you know, in DMs especially on Discord, like, hey, how did you paint that truck that color, or how do you choose paint colors, or how do you put your colors together? Um, just a little like word of advice: always put your lighter color first, followed by your darker color. Um, that way the shadows catch the darker side of it. If you invert those, then it looks weird. It looks like the sun is shining on the wrong part of the truck that's not actually shining at all. So like but like if you looked across the hood, the back side of it would be brighter than the front when the sun is shining behind you on the truck. You know what I mean? So this one puts the right shading on the part that you're looking at. You wouldn't see this part dark and this part light if you were looking at an IRL. So anyway, just always put your dark color second. The the flash color it's usually in the same color group combination, um, but some trucks like see how this one like some of the flakish uh, the flakes and the way they do the paint file on this the flakes are really really thick and honestly it looks kind of I don't know I don't like it when it's like this because it doesn't look like this in real life when you put metal flake on a truck like that so it almost dulls it down when the flake size is too big so if you pull that back and make it like a even a dark gray or even black then it makes the whole entire um, truck look like really crazy glossy you can see all of these paint schemes i have down here all have black as that one so it makes it look super wet which is nice you know so anyway okay ftg fact fun fact of the day so there it is all right moving right along uh do we put a wing on it or no do we put a wing on it i don't know i'm not a huge fan of the wing but some people are like, yes, you've got to, you've got to put the wing on it. I just feel like it's. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm kind of with my first. Yeah, I'm kind of with my first ones there, man. No, no wings. Yeah. Yeah, we, we've got three sponsors there that said no. So, yeah, that's what I thought. But if you wanted to know, if you like the wing and you're like, yes, I would love a wing. It does come with two, a tuning wing. Which kind of looks like, uh, I don't know what that looks like. Uh, looks like it belongs in the back of a Honda Accord. <laughs> Going down the hood track or something. But anyway, there you go. If you wanted one, you've got those two uh, to put up there if you wanted them. So, yeah, there you go. Um, brackets. I think we do have brackets for lights, I think. Yep. So, we do have beacons. Or you could have, oh. Oh, now that's cool. So, you could do. You could do the blinker. You could do left blinker lights up high. Oh, let's do that. I like that. But it's like, no! Come on, FTG. Put the beacons on there. I'm like, nah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to the visor, man. We're, we're like halfway up the truck now. We're, we're building in reverse. We never do this. So this is kind of fun even for me. Well, Ryan's you're y'all are y'all are hung on the slant antennas. I'll throw some slant ones on there, animated too, man. So we'll do some uh, we'll do some high end uh, blinkers up there. I guess you could do anything you wanted to up there. 
But we'll, we've got, actually, we'll have beacons in the headlights and we'll have beacons on the trailer. So we good. Let's do interior red to match what we got going on here. Uh, roof lights. Yes, let's add some roof lights because everybody said roof lights. All right, be thinking about, uh, be thinking about exhaust. I kind of feel like, I feel like, I feel like I need some, some music. Hang on. Let's, let's pull some up some music. Crap. I just hit everything. Hang on. Let's let's grab us some music. I don't I don't know. I mean I don't know what I can find on here. It'll probably be something y'all won't like anyway. So it'll be all right. I just feel like it's a little dead. Like I'm trying to talk to uh, overcompensate for the amount of silentness I hear in my ears, <laughs> which is scary sometimes when it's silent. Thank you, there, Peterbilt three eighty nine. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. So what an original name. Thank you for spelling it right. Props for actually spelling the uh, the truck that everybody loves so much. Props for spelling it right. I can't even get mad at you. That's awesome. Seriously. I'm not even being facetious at all. Um, all right. Let's see. I thought I had this. <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> uh, let's go to the audio library because that's the, probably the best place to... I don't know if it is or not. Oh, let's just see what's on here. <clears throat> I have, I have no idea. I get in this and then I get into them. I'm like, oh, we probably shouldn't have done that. And you guys are probably like, yeah, you know, you probably should have just left it as it is. Uh, copyright free music for melodic dubstep, dubstep, house, drum and bass. Woo, trap. Yeah, man, this is like a ATS dream music playlist right here, man. Woo. All right. Y'all know I'm just. Jungle of love. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That, that fits our building driver, right? All right, I'm going to turn it down. I just want something in my background because I've got to have something in my background. Hang on a minute. Let's open our mixer up. I'll turn this down. You won't even be able to hear it, but it'll be there. It'll be just this little nagging beat in the back of your head wondering whether or not you have a headache. Or Yeah, there we go. I can't even hardly hear that, man. All right, <laughs> join the entire crowd there, Corinthians. Nobody else does either. DJ, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, all the time, Tony. All the time. You know, it's weird. It's like if everybody spelled your name without an E or spelled it T-O-N-I, that, that that's how I feel sometimes with it. I'm like, oh, my God, you guys got to spell it right. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, so here let's do, we got, uh, we go with the classic chrome bullet light. We do have, I do like the colored glass one there. That's kind of nice. Cab flares, LED cab flares. That's nice. Let's do the cab flares. I don't even know that we even, we didn't even put that on, uh, yesterday cause we had the, the roof cab on there. I don't even know that I even looked through the cab flares. Let's see what every other looks like. This is, you know, one of those, I don't want to get caught putting in too many lights, and I don't want to mess it up the first time, so I don't have to go back at it last time. <laughs> I like that. That's cool. That's different. Look at that, man. Uh, Chronic, as far as I know, man. As far as I knew, man. Mother 75, what's up, man? Yeah, Pre-turkey, yeah, pre-turkey day. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, let's see. Beacons. Oh, yeah, we got, I forgot we got, you know, those will go on the big classic visor. So, uh, okay, here's what we got. Um, so we've got bigger <laughs> uh, and then big est. Um, so, uh, so how about this? How about we say, I mean, in all seriousness, like this is one. Uh, I'll let you guys vote on this, or we do um, visor A. Hang on, let me figure out which one it is. I think it's A A. Okay, no, it's B. Nope, 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 nope. It's A A. Okay, straight on the bottom, and it's dual up here, which I like this. All right, so that would be two. The other one is. <sighs> hang on. Yeah, I think we'll go through those two because the rest of them just get bigger and bigger and bigger. So, what's up, no one you know? <laughs> All right, so here we go. How about that one being one? 
um, which don't get you any custom lights on this. And it, but it's still classic, you know what I mean, for the build. Um, or let's do a, uh, or let's do the double A, and we'll add some lights on this. We won't add a ton, but we'll add at least a little bit of accent lights up here. Um, how about that? Two for that one. Uh, no, Robert, this one is uh, a Freightliner. Uh, that the uh, Texas uh, Chrome Shop is a Kenworth 900. Yeah, Shadow, we'll we'll finish it up really soon here, man, because we really don't have too much more to go on the heavy haul stuff. So we've only been going 30 minutes. We're a lot further than we were last night. So. Ah, so y'all want to do too? Okay, all right. So if we do that, let's add some beacons. They they can go up here on the front. Where's my, do I have brackets on this, Kales? I think I've missed the bracket somewhere. I can't remember. Might have to let me know on this one. I can't remember where they are. Is it roof add-ons? Radio CV. I did those. Mm. All right, so you, I know you guys said slanted. Wait, that that really? That's what y'all want? That's what y'all want? Really? Oh, I do have a lot of trucks in this profile. I don't have any other Freightliners, though. That's weird. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, egg stay on that. Okay. So we got high antennas. No on the fishing rods. I know. Everybody wanted the fishing rods, though. Everybody were like, hey, put slants on there. Uh, just for right now, let's just put these. They move. So, oh, y'all didn't, we didn't even pick, um, crap, we didn't even do this. All right, let me give you guys a couple. Uh, all right, let me give you guys a couple of. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> Bailey's like, Ooh. put beacons on using all oh, you know roof add-ons. Yeah, we might. You know what? We might be able to do that. Good, uh, good call there, buddy. Let's see what we got here, man. Let's see if we can do that. Yeah, you you are right, my friend. No, you're not right. So you can't do that. So I guess those beacons only come on. We can add uh, we can add some horns up here, but that's about it. Satellites, mini markers, yeah. Oh well, okay, all right. Well, uh, a big L for me. So, but we'll um, could we nestle a couple? Actually, you know, we're gonna probably have to nestle them right there. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not. I'm not going to pitch a big fit about it. Let's go ahead and complete the chrome process around. I do like the chrome strip. All right, here's a couple of. Uh, basketball hoops that you guys can shoot at when you're at the truck stop uh so we could put these on there hey. we could put these on here which is my other set of favorite basketball hoops to throw it in uh or we could go straight how about that one go straight up i think we got straights in there do y'all like the 45 miters y'all like the 45 miners do you baby thanks nick appreciate it buddy wait let me know Gail's through the pay, uh, the trailer that we're gonna load in there. Let me know if you if y'all like the uh, the forty fives out like this, the mitered out. I mean they're they're different. I don't normally run these um, a little more custom set. So but these forty fives are just ah, God man, they're just they're just mean. They're just mean because we don't have anything like this, man. It's so stinking mean. I agree. I agree, man, Bill. I I think they look. They're slanted straights? Yes. Let me find them. Hang on a minute. Yeah, there you go. So we've got a couple in here. Oh, man. There's so many pipes in this truck. So you got bull, uh, you got these big old horns coming out. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Diagonals. There you go. So there's your mitered, uh, there's your mitered uh, heavy haul straight ups. And then you've got a half, you know, you got a shorter ones here. Um, diagonal outs. Uh, these are interesting. I do like these. I wish they had these in the full. I don't know if they had these in the full set that go straight up all the way down. We do have, uh, you know, full, full extensions there, but I'm not, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of those. These are weird, I think, because the, I think the end of these is, is wider than the actual circumference of the, of the initial pipe. <laughs> 
Uh, I do too, Tanner. I, I'm kind of partial to those 45s, man. I like them, man. Uh, it is. It is a nice freight liner. And this is, uh, so we did one yesterday that's all custom lowered, slammed out to the max. This one's like a totally complete different build. And like I said, man, you, you know, just doing it like this, you can really do a lot of stuff. So, all right, let's, let's do, I'll let you guys vote on this one. All right. Uh, let me, let me give you a couple options here and I'm probably going to have to like remember which ones we do. Um, gosh. All right. Not those. All right. So there's was one. So let's do, let me make a note on my phone because <laughs> I'll let you guys pick these. All right, so we got Bull Big Five. I like this one, Bull Big Five. Actually, all of these right here are pretty awesome. Um, not those. So Bull Big Five is one. Not that one. Not that one. I think these Bull Big Four is nice. Three, three's where it was at. We think we did this one with the classic actually. And then that one. That's the other one. Of my favorites right there, the Bull Big Two. So put that one in your in your notes there. Bull Big uh, Four. And what was the other one? Y'all wanted the straight up miners, right? Let me get you the straight up miners. We'll figure out what name they are and then we'll look through them and you guys can pick out which ones you want. You'll just put the corresponding number. Big Bull Customs. Yeah, nope, nope, nope. Here we go. Flat big, flat high. All right, so put flats in there. We'll put a flat one in there for you guys that want the flats. We'll let y'all vote on that. And, you know, try to try to keep it one vote only. We're usually pretty good about keeping most of that stuff. And let's put a mitered one in there. Diagonal, out, diagonal. All right, one of the high, right? That's pretty, it's pretty nasty, actually. We can do that again there. Hey, what's up, Brian? Thanks, man. Appreciate that, man. $10 super chat. I mean, $10 donation there for Brian King. Appreciate you, buddy. Uh... Let's do a diagonal, and I am doing well, man. I hope you are doing good. Oh, what in the world? That was flat, high, and then diagonal BB1. Or the highs. Let's do the highs. Y'all wanted the highs, I think. All right, let's go. How about this? So here's one. Uh, put a one in for that. Put a two in for flats. And put a three in for big four. Nope. Crap. That's not right. Dead gibbet. Big four. That is that's supposed to be right. Oh, dead gibbet. Did I screw that? There it is. Big two. That's what I was going to do. Big two. All right. So that's number three uh, right there. And number four will be the fives. Will be those right there. All right. Do y'all need to see them again? It does kind of resemble a Peterbilt now. S so thin. Everybody suck in. All right. Mods help me out. I'm seeing quite a bit of ones and quite a bit of threes. All right there, Seth. Well, thanks for the 10 to check my, my Discord. Man, I'd check my Discord a lot more if people donated $10 for me to do it. Woo! <laughs> uh, Bull definitely likes three. What was three, Bull? Let's see. And I'm actually seeing a lot of... all oh, flats. Of course y'all would pick flats. Uh, y'all would pick flats. Hey, pick a flat. It'll look like a Peterbilt then if you do that. Y'all and your anti-curvature mod pipes. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. All right. Flats it is. I'm surprised y'all didn't go with the mitered ones, man. I'm really surprised y'all didn't do that. But whatever. It's fine. No judgments here. Uh, definitely don't want that. <laughs> that was a lot of threes in there. <laughs> Oh, there's a lot of threes. All right. Um, let's continue to move along. There's that. Radio CB. I think we'll put that one in there regardless. Um, all right. So we've got chrome. Yes. Uh, double mirrors. Yes. Lights. Thank you. 
You can add double lights on that bad boy. This is pretty slick. And they hang down. So we'll do paint. Mm, what's chrome? Oh, okay. No, no, no. We're going to do paint standard. Oh, three, four. Oh, three. Oh, wait a minute. So five, all oh, three was the mitered. Oh, my apologies. My apologies, guys. My bad. My bad. Oh, my bad. I totally, I'll take, I'll take that. I'll take that. My B. Y'all simmer down, man. I realize y'all cared about your pipes so much. All right, so we're going to match lights if we can. If we can do this, we're going to match lights if I can find the painted ones. Just give me a minute here. All these are chrome. Paint custom. No. Color tuning. Yeah. Yes. All right. Let me find the right ones, man. We find the right ones. Those are pretty good. I actually could put that on chrome tuning, I think. That's three. Let's see if this one is the same. Yes, it is. All right. So start at the bottom, and we're going to add these orange. These are like I love these lights. So we'll add these bad boys in here. It's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be nice. Then let's add the red ones on the back. Surround chrome red. Reds always go on the back for those that don't know. Yellows, whites, cautionary go in the front. It's kind of like a boat, you know, one side's green, the other side's red. If you put the red ones on the front, someone might think you're coming down the highway at the wrong angle. <laughs> Probably not if they did. I don't know. Maybe they would. Maybe when Ambien first came out, that might. People kind of wised up to that one. All right, chrome red, chrome red. Okay, all right. Chrome orange. Now, whatever you do, uh, do not let me change. <laughs> do not let me. Uh, yeah, don't let me change this. All right. Red there. I'm gonna get that. Get that. Get that. That little. That little. Oh. So the easiest way, if you get like that, is to uh, walk up to it, and then you do it pretty easy. Then those lights look huge, don't they? So while I'm here, let's go ahead and let's dress up. Uh, let's dress up the side uh, if we can. I don't really want to do. Mm. No, we're gonna do all chrome tanks. All chrome tanks. We got the heater. That's the fenders. Okay, hang on. There we go. Is that the straps? Yes. Do we do... Second question for you guys. Do we do double reds or do we do double chromes? Like, it's like a dark chrome. It's actually really pretty. Yeah, do we... Let's, oh, let's do this one, man. This one, look, that looks sharp, man. It's not the same chrome, but it's like a different color chrome. Like, maybe like a secondary paint. I don't know. You get the double reds? Really? I like double chromes. Now here's what we can do stuff with. Um, hang on a minute. Custom light bars. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. So we've got some some uh, some we've got some possibilities to add some roll, uh, red in for the steps. Now I'm, steps I'm always get a little crazy on, especially with this truck. Um, this would be my only other one that I would say, yeah, we could do this on. Um, if you did, then you could get away with chrome on everything else. But then again, the chrome diamond plate step is pretty uh, heavy haulish. You know what I'm saying? Um, Kenworth steps compared to it's not a Kenworth. It's kind of hard to put Kenworth steps on a freight liner, but you know. <laughs> What's up, Glenn? It's good, man. How are you, bud? I hope you're doing well. Yeah, make it peak. Yeah, no, nah, that won't. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Do the red steps diamond plate. Is that is that that one with the chrome steps, but doing the red paint? Is that what you're talking about there, Kelsey? I don't know why I called you Kelsey? Sorry, man. It's kind of weak sounding. You like that, Kelsey? Y'all stuck on this Peterbilt lights. 
You know, Peterbilt did not invent lights. Y'all realize that, right? Y'all realize they did not invent lights. Just, just so we're clear on that, man. I just don't know, man. Sometimes y'all, y'all, y'all get me on that. I'm just not, not seeing it. Yes, yes, we are. Uh, I'm almost having a good turkey day. Almost. Let's do these, and then we're going to light up the sides there. We're going to do our bumpers, chromes, and then we're going to pull a couple of heavy haul loads. All right, so we'll just do some simple amber lights off there, and then let's uh, let's go ahead and do this. And yeah, there we go. Yeah, I, I like the I like the chrome steps on it. It looks nice. Let's do um, on this one. Let's do custom light bar. Uh, obviously, it'll be short. You can't do the the long ones on this one because uh the fenders. You'd have to put the custom fenders on, I think, to get the long. Which I don't even know what these fenders look like on this one. I'm kind of even scared to hit it. I'm afraid of what it would actually erase. Well, all right, we'll just we'll just see. Mm. <laughs> I'm not really hating it. We'll leave the regulars on there, man. We'll leave the regulars on there. So that'll put us back on the stock one. So, all right, we're good. I don't know, man. The wraparounds are. Eh. I don't know, man. Wraparounds are a little, they're a little much. They're a little much, man. What's up, Dean? Yeah, man, I'm good. <laughs> What's up, Jimmy? Jimmy! All right, so I'm just going to add this one right here. Um, we're going to add this strip across like we did yesterday. Uh... I feel like after a while, my wrist starts hurting after doing this. <laughs> One more here. What time is it for me? Uh, 10.20. It's a right on time. I didn't want to spend more than an hour on this. I wanted to be able to drive for about an hour or so. So I'm thinking at least on the front, we'll, um, man, I probably should have added those. I'm going to pretend that I didn't forget that. All right. So on the front, we've added these on marker lights so on the front here. I'm going to, I'm going to do something a little bit, a little bit different. Uh, just because I saw when I was kind of looking through some things like options, just so that we wouldn't be totally stuck in tonight's build. Like I, I, I don't mind these flat lines are pretty cool, but um, honestly, wait a minute, let me zero out that. Okay, there we go. Um, honestly, these lights right here, these Lumen oranges are the ones like from John Ruda's and they are gorgeous up here. Just as a simple a simple up there and then you can do a you can do a match and set down on the bottom since we're only going flat across you know we don't have we don't have a ton of real estate up there to to do it uh john i don't know it's about one hundred twenty one thousand. um uh, we'll throw the led blinkers up here uh i'm gonna keep that the same front i think that's painted yeah no we'll keep the chrome up there keep chrome emblem uh, mirrors. Oh shoot, that's fenders. That gum it. Oh no. Oh shoot. Thank God I didn't change it. All right, let me. Let's see. Let's figure it out. So let's do. We do have an orange. What's the red? Oh yeah, it looks good. All right, grills. Here we go, guys. Time to choose some crap. I forgot about headlight lashes. All right. I don't even think we added those in last time. I think we completely left and glossed over every bit of that. Um, that is our emblems up at the top. Here is our lights. So I'm going to take us down to the custom lights, projection lights. Um, and let's do TW black. So here's what we got. So I'm gonna give you a couple lights if you want to choose them. Now these don't have beacons in them. Um, but we have, uh, I like the orange lights. So there's one, 
Um, and then we'll do two as these projection lights here. We'll change the grill up. Don't worry about that. That's two. And then I believe if you wanted to, we could add something classic in there. We could do like a 351 uh, headlight on it. I'm not a huge fan of those. I'd like to keep it in this. Um, actually, you know what? Screw that. You guys don't get to choose that one. Let's see. Let's do... Let me, let me figure out the other ones. Because one of these is really, really cool. Maybe it's exclusive for LED 2s. No, that's not going. That's not going to work. Nope, definitely not going to work. Maybe I was thinking about these as a possibility, the exclusive ones. They're they're kind of they're they're interesting. I'll put that as one, uh, and then we could do the projection TW blacks uh, or the TW chromes. But basically, what's chrome is right here around the light, and the and the other one, the blacks are in there. Now this also does have blinker lights in it uh, and everything. So. Um, so let me know what you wanna, what you guys wanna go with. So this is three. Uh, the black versions are two, and then let's just keep the other ones on the exclusive uh, three, which is the daytime. Or we could do, we could do white. I mean, I don't care. White's just as fine with me. Did I do that backwards? Did I say three was the daytime running lights? Is that what I said? <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> oh, Beacon Scrum. Okay, thanks. Sorry. Oh, yeah, I did three, two, one. Okay. All right. Yeah, it was a lot of threes. Y'all like that. All right. Well, I had some lashes on this bad boy. Keep the sun out of its eyes. Just kidding. Classic lashes there. All right, let's pick out a grill for it. There's a lot of grills. I'm just going to pick one. We got our standard. So do we do a... So I will let you guys, whoever the first couple are, we do a more classic or do we do a custom grill? Because uh, we got a ton of louvered grills in here, which uh, I found out yesterday. I really like some of these because they look really, really, really good. Oh, yeah, Seth. Let me check your message, man. I forgot. I'm sorry, man. I totally forgot. Uh, yeah, yeah, discreet. If you're, yeah, if you want to do that, man, I'm cool. If you want to do that, sorry about that, man. I totally, totally bombed on that. All right, let's go ahead. And let's, uh, let's hit it up, man. Let's, let's get, um, y'all want a custom one in there. So we'll find clean custom mesh. Let's see if I have a mesh. I don't know if I, oh, there's a mesh. Y'all want a clean custom mesh? We can do that. Why not? I think that's all we got. I'm gonna leave the Freightliner emblem up there. That's pretty cool. Um, the only other ones, yeah, it's a, like a stamping on there. So you don't like the you don't like that. Uh, blasted. So you can find the description. It is uh, it's a uh, um, custom. So it is it is a uh, payware. So if you want to, it's uh, twenty five dollars. I believe is what this one comes in. So. Yeah, boy, that <laughs> Yeah, nah. All right, let's see. We've we've got we've got some nice big bumpers we can add with this one. Um, now I do have. Uh, we got a couple here that'll actually match this fender. So let me just get to them. They're around here in the 10, 10 range. So that there it is. Right there is the start of it. So um, let's just rock that one, man. That's pretty. I like that. Um, and just because, let's add. We'll add these. Uh, we'll add these on the bottom. I like these are like my favorites, man. So we'll add that. We'll add one more there. Let's add this one, and then we gonna start pulling some loads. All right. Is there anything else interior wise? Let's go ahead and knock it out real quick because um, I already kind of know what I want to do on the interior. Uh, let's add the black. Um, you could add the black or the metal, honestly, because the metal's pretty, metal's pretty banging. I think we did the metal last time. I don't really think it matters to me. Um, um, alright, I don't want to go too combo classic. 
catch some of that in there. Yeah, man. Uh, going a little old school on the radio. That, we've got red. No, we don't. Ambient lights red. There we go. Let's add Jippus in there. Jippus. Um, we're not going to add the parrot radio in there. Quack, quack. Chrome there. We'll leave that there. 10 speed splitter. Let's throw this in 18 because that's where we will be. Uh, shift color. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do shift color chrome. How about that? Is that cool? Can we can we roll with that? Dash there. We're gonna leave it black there. That's good. That's good. And we'll throw our sponsor monster energy drinks in there. <laughs> Not really. I'm just kidding, man. Uh, strobes and like Jesus, they come with it. So that's it all within this truck, man. Uh, yes, controlled chaos. Yeah, man. Looks all right to me. <laughs> yeah, Keith. I would if they if they had custom ones on here, but they're all the the Eaton Fuller uh, shipper style. So let me just see what this. Um, let me see what the shift color. Yeah, I feel like that's just too much. And then chrome, I feel like we kind of lose all of it. But a nice pop of color to go with the uh, a nice pop of color to go with the, the steering wheel. I do like that. Because if not, we don't really have any other, you know. Now here's the other option. They do have a color kit where you can add these on there, but uh, it'd be nice if you had it all over the thing. Color trim adds that red to everything else, and I think that's just kind of like. Bleh. Just, I don't know, just, I like the chrome trim with the lashes. All right, I think that's it. I think we're good. Um, transmission, yes. Engine, yes. Load, yes. This, everything looks good. Tail lights are done, yes. I think we are finito, boys. Told y'all, man, it's going to be a nice heavy haul. Only cost us $130,000 plus the price of the truck. It can be yours for, yeah, man. I like it, man. Look at the look how beefy that is. Let me turn these wheels to the side. Look how beefy those wheels are. <laughs> it's good. Uh, only yes. So uh, this truck is twenty five. I got links in the description. Before we get going here, uh, the other thing is is that also I have a competition going on. If you guys know the Roland three eighty nine mod, we're going to be giving one of those on uh, giving one of those away. It's a hundred and five dollar value. We're going to be giving those away uh, December the first. The Gleam competition is just right ahead. If you scroll up just a few, just a half a roll, um, enter that. It's the HTTPS Gleam.io. Uh, enter that in. It's got some you know, five different ways for you to enter, interact with me through Twitter, through YouTube, uh, through the Discord, all of that good stuff. Uh, in peace back out. So we're going to be convoying back this Saturday. So for everybody that's, you know, uh, wanting to do some of those things, um, then yes, all that's out there. It's available. Just check the description. Uh, we will be doing convoys on Saturday. I'll post up in the discord. So if you want to join us, want to know all about that, it is open to anybody that wants to do it. Uh, all you got to do is just show up, um, and then, uh, show up ready. That that's the other, like, that's a really good one. If you show up ready. Um, yeah, do we even truck brah? We do truck brah. We're fixing to do an hour, but I got 20 bucks says you leave in the next 10 minutes. So, yeah, if you're here, still here in an hour, then a big shout out to you once we get done. So, we don't ever, we don't ever crash there, Wolf Gaming. What you talking about, man? We don't even do that. Yeah, we'll get going, and it'll be like, yeah, you're going too slow, and I want to see outside of the truck, man. I'm going to go, man. Good stream. We'll see you later. Like, okay, we'll see you there, man. <laughs> Only because so many other people say the same thing, so... It does kind of look like a Kenworth now. So there's your... Uh, and then you've got, uh, see, see how he does like this? Like, that's cool. So the bottom of it's got your uh, your turn signal, but then your top is your actual parking light, your headlight. So 
That's legit, right? Let's get it, man. <sighs> really? Come on, John. Come on, man. I roll Peterbilt all the time, man. Really? Just close your eyes and just pretend. Uh, you know, come on, man. I can't win for stinking losing. And then I drive Peterbilt, so then half the chat's go, Hey, why don't you drive something else? Kind of getting tired of it. Hey, let's give one away. <laughs> oh, appreciate that, Seth Boone. Might have to do that. Maybe John will win it. Maybe John will win it. That'd be that'd be awesome. John wins it, and he's forced to download a Freightliner. Then he never drives it because it's not a Peterbilt, but he just wanted to win something in chat. <laughs> <laughs> it gets old wrinkly after a while, don't it, Kels? <laughs> All right. Well, maybe this will entertain John a little more. We'll try to try to roll the uh, drive the new freight. Well, well, we'll see what we can do, man. I mean, honestly, I mean, I like all these, so it, it doesn't it doesn't matter to me. A nice turn signals up there. Yeah, I like that, man. So here's a couple of things what we got. So we've got uh, the Freightliner Classic XL, um, which looks absolutely. <laughs> oh, thanks, Gills. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I got it, man. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that, man. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I was like, ah, inside joke, inside joke, I guess. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. <laughs> All right. Let me turn this off. Get this out of the way here. We don't need any more, uh, need any more music here. Uh, okay. All right. So if you guys want to, let's open this up, man. Uh, the way giveaways work around here, the simple quickies are the, um, are the, uh, the Streamlabs bot here. So make sure a couple things here, make sure that you've got, uh, your, uh, make sure that you're not private on YouTube. Make sure that you have your subscriptions public. Um, that's the big one. Make sure your subscriptions are public. Um, because if they're private, uh, Streamlab says that it basically it'll interrupt and they will not, since you want to keep private, Streamlabs will not recognize you publicly by signing into giveaways through their bot. So make sure that you're public. Um, that's probably one of the biggest things. So let me go ahead. Let's set up the giveaway. I should have one already ready. Um, oh crap. I got Tanner Kennedy's in there. Uh, let's get all of that one. Let's complete that one. Don't, if it throws anything up in the thing, don't, don't, don't bother with it. It's fine. Uh, 30 minutes. So we're at an hour. So an hour and 30. So let's go ahead. I'm going to start this bad boy up. Um, and let's, uh, hang on a minute guys. We ain't got it yet. So everybody's eligible for this. If you are a member of the channel, uh, starting now, you guys get two entries uh, for being a member of the channel, and everyone else just gets a regular one. So uh, it's going to tell you in chat here what to... Uh... <laughs> oh, you the tent earlier. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was in there wondering because yeah, some people don't know Seth. <laughs> I didn't forgot that when I was like, why is the $10 chat to like check my Discord? I was like, I totally... All right, I'm with you now, man. I'm with you now. My bad. I be. <laughs> uh, the R model. Eh. That the one off Steam. I mean, I, I, I guess. All right. See, one thing I do need to do. I do need to change back over to 18 speed. I do need to do that. Thank you there, Redneck Express. VTC, man. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Um, all right. Let's go 18 speed. And if anybody asks questions at this point, like, I'm going to do the best I can, but I can't. Thank you there, Ham. I, I, I will probably miss some things. So if I do, forgive me on that.
Um, yeah, Tony, so you only have to do it, um, you only need to type that whenever you're actually, when it actually starts. So if you said it way back when, like you still need to say it now. Yeah. Hey, 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 hang on a minute there, Lone Star. We kind of ran that red light, but that's okay. Yeah, man. Woo! Get some of that. Hey, thanks there, A Train. Appreciate it, man. Nice chat. Nice uh, follow there on the. Uh, that was a follow on the uh, Twitch side. Thank you, man. Uh, yeah, it's fault. That would be correct. Wait a minute, did we go the wrong stinking way? Oh my god. Really? We did this the other time. I don't know why it does that. It's so annoying. Hang on a minute. Why it does that? It's ridiculous. I can't stand it. So it tells you to take a ride out of there, but, you know. There we go. Yeah, Jimmy, I, I know the southern states are pretty good. I just, I don't know, man. I, I get tired of the southern states sometimes. I mean, they're, they're okay. They're not really all that close. Um, I, I mean, I guess they're all right. Um, I just don't like coast to coast. I mean, honestly, I, I need to get back in. We need to do Mexico. You guys need to see Mexico because that's really good. If you have never seen Viva Mexico, it is awesome, um, and uh, and there's a lot of really good stuff going on with that map, uh, Chihuahua map, which is going to almost connect with Texas. Eventually, it will whenever SES does it, but they're probably going to do Wyoming and Montana first. So, you know, from that perspective, it is what it is. But um... <laughs> we'll try not to double. <laughs> Hey, for some coffee, still here at 4.44 a.m. All right, man, as we took out that truck, all right, he should not have gotten on my track there. He knew I was swinging wide for the turn. Coming in turn four here, in straight straightaway here, coming on the uh, whatever interstate this is. Thanks there, Adrian. Appreciate it, man. Danke. <laughs> hey, yeah, there you go. I remember that. Always got brake lines, man. We did. We hit Grandpa's Peter. We sword fall in the middle of the road. Yeah. 
Yeah, man, that looks legit, man. I like it. We just went. I just went with the three. I didn't go with the triple. We. I was gonna put stuff, you know, all on the back side of this, and yeah, that's what I did. What's up, Bob? Bob, Bob. -bob. All right, Chris. Have a good man. <laughs> What's up, Shane? I'm good, man. Gamekeeper, what's up? I can answer some questions. I don't forget, guys, we're giving one of these away. So we did a complete custom uh, last week. You know what? Let's, let's see how much we actually weigh. Let's see what we're pulling. Hundred sixty three thousand pounds. Hey, how's this guy get a free pass? Hey, Logan, Logan. Don't tell me doofus to drop the track axle when you can see it's dropped right there, doofus. Come on, man. You can't. You don't get away calling a streamer. Uh, you, know, you don't get a get away calling a streamer a doofus in a stream when you're the doofus. Come on, man. I ain't got time for that mess. <laughs> yeah, I know, Eli. <laughs> it's a heavy. It's a heavy excavator. What do you say, man? All right, Riverdale Road, Ogden, here we come. So we are actually, uh, if you don't know, we're actually in um, actually in uh, Utah. There we go. We're good now. <laughs> I know. It's pretty strong, man. I mean, it's floored. Don't get me wrong. It's floored. It is floored. Don't get me wrong. Eh? <laughs> Uh, every, you know, so here's the thing, man. Here's what I hate, man. I can't hate when people, you know, people come in and thinking that they, that every YouTuber is dumb and stupid. That's the only thing that really bothers me. Like, if I do something, I forget, you know, if I forget something in there, man. Thank you there, Rich Revs. Appreciate it, buddy. Uh, you know, if I forget something, no, it's it's fine. Like, a nice, gentle reminder. You know, there's a, there's a time for, you know, name calling in a chat, and, and that's just not one of them. I mean, it just uh, gets you no brownie points here. Nobody's laughing. Um, yeah, it's just dumb. Yeah, that, that's the only thing that bothers me. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if you had a Whatever it is, it's under that excavator right now. We're probably dragging it along the, the back track, so we're, we're good, man. <laughs> well, too, I, you know, I forgot about this, Kales. Uh, I've got that, we've got that heavy... Uh, um, we've got that crazy, ridiculous uh, transmission on this thing too. So I mean, we're pulling like almost a 4.0 gear on this. So it's it's got some pulling power in it behind anyway. Yeah, and it's just the assumption when they go into these streams. And typically, I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. Most of the YouTubers that do this stuff, they are doofuses. They're dumb. Like they they have you know, like they have no apparent to like. I because I enjoy the realism sometimes of some of these. Sometimes I can care less. You know, it's like you just do it for fun. But sometimes, man, I actually want to, like, learn a little bit. You'd think, you know, after 3,000 hours, I know when to pull the tag axle down, you know? Thank you there, red cornbread. Appreciate it, man. Uh, will you be streaming tomorrow? Uh, probably. Um, I, I don't see why I won't. Uh, just be a question of what I stream. <laughs> I mean, I might stream something for fun because it's Thanksgiving and something different. Uh, we're going to have convoys uh, this weekend, or at least Saturday. We're going to definitely do that one. So, yeah, heck, man. I have no idea what we're going to do tomorrow. Yeah, 
Yeah, Devontae, uh, I don't know. They're just the ones that come with it. Um, so these lights, they're not a mod or anything. They they come in with the uh, with the mod itself. So, I mean, everything that you're seeing minus the engine now, they, there is Alpha Alpha Star. Thank you there, man. Appreciate the sub. Um, we uh, we do have the the uh, N14 low idle, and now that is from Steam Workshop. But it does come with its own low idle in a part of the truck as well. That's still really good. Um, but everything you see on the truck, minus the wheels and tires, those are from Smarties Wheel Pack and the Real Tires Pack from Steam. Everything else is is uh, original to the truck. So, you know, like the stacks and all these other custom parts and stuff, like that's all a part of the truck. As a heavy haul build, exactly the same as it was last, uh, you know, last night when we drove the same truck. Um, uh, we just drove it in that complete custom, you know, uh, complete custom style. Um, yesterday and it's the same exact mod so you know you basically can have your in-between stand-up roof kind of like reefer ones you can have your straight up you know just regular slammed out custom truck uh, and then you can have a heavy haul which not every truck that we always build and look at not every single one of them that we have a um, the ability to do the really low custom stuff do we actually have to also have the ability to do a really slick heavy haul too and have it be just as customized as the rest of it so you know, I always like showing you guys this, and I always get feel like I, I feel like I get in trouble for people that uh, not really in trouble, but I feel like I get razzed because all we do is pay wear. But honestly, you guys have seen all the other trucks, you know. Y'all seen all of the other uh, Steam mods. I mean, those things have been around for years, um, and there's only so many times you can stream those standard uh, mods. Um, but these pay wear ones that actually cost money, those are the ones that. Uh, I do like doing these builds on. Some people hate the fact that I do build and drive. So some people like the fact that I do them. Um, and uh, and so it's it's kind of nice. Uh, it's kind of nice when whenever you can uh, we're going to Denver. So we actually got us a little bit of a trip. I, actually, this is the 518 one. So I feel like this one, at least for for this particular stream anyway, the Freightliner. I figured this would be uh, our big trip. Will be transferred between Utah into uh, into uh, uh, into Denver there. Or, Colorado. So, all right. Well, Nathaniel decided he was going to test the waters and be a jerk today. So, guess what? All right. Uh, we can come for Friday. Uh, yes, potentially. I will see how many of our guys are around. Are you being good? See you, Mike. It's a little all slow down and move over. What's up, Sensor? Good to see you, buddy. Hope you're doing all right, man. Good to see you. He man, what's up, bud? I think I missed you in there, man. Hope you're doing all right. All right, don't forget, we got uh, 14 minutes left. Uh, we're gonna give away one of these beauties here, so that's what we're giving away the truck, not the trailer. The trailer is Pinga's. Um, but yeah, so we're, uh, we've got Freightliner Classic XL Heavy Haul. We got that sucker on uh, tap for tonight. And uh, it is uh, beautiful. I like it, man. Th this one actually turned out really well. All custom interior, custom steering wheels, custom shifters, all the good stuff. Yeah, and no wing. Yeah, they, they, they voted against the wing road roller. They are like, nah. You know, if, uh, if, uh, yeah, yeah, if John wins, uh, I always, I always got, like, a couple of guys, man, that I'll pick on in stream. So, it's okay, John. That means I don't hate you too bad. <laughs> yeah, so, if John wins it, we expect at least a picture of the Discord every day of the week, since he said he only drives Peter Builds. He'll be the guy that wins, you watch. I can't set that up, but you watch. That's how fate works. <laughs> Are the good stack smoke mods? Nah. Nah, Rick. Somebody uploaded one on the other day, and I looked at it, and I was like, yeah, nah. Most of the time, it's a frame rate killer. 
Uh, they just are. They're usually terrible, man. Uh, we are taking a William. We are headed down to Denver, buddy. Going down to Colorado. So we're going to transfer, uh, I believe, on the mid end. So I think we're going through Moab. I think we'll go through Vernal. I can't remember. Um, I don't know if my map will zoom out that far. So we're down going through Salina. So we hit the 50. Um, yeah, I have no idea where they're going to take us. I think we go through Moab. Thank you there, Crazy Wolf Band. Appreciate the uh, thumbs up there, the $3 thumb up emote. Appreciate it. I don't know where that thumb up's going. Thank you, bud. Thank you there, Tom. Miss. Good to see you, man. What's up, Deuce? Part two. Well, my field of view is a little bit off because I, I like for people to see the interior. If I set up all on the wheel, someone would say I'm sitting too close to the wheel. So, uh, for you guys watching, it gives you a better feel for what's actually, you know, what you're seeing in the truck. And they feel weird to me too, and we missed the turn, didn't we? We certainly did. Talking to y'all crazy buffoons. What's up, Mr. Martins? How are you? Hope you're doing well, man. Mr. Lucas Ferreira Martins. Hope you're doing well, man. Rimco Brack. What's up? Or Brick Frack Shack. Alright, we gotta make a turn around because we missed that one. Let's talk to you uh, Actually, my street address there, Rick, is uh, not this good, man. I tell people, most people know where Charlotte's at. So I, I tell them I'm, I'm in the Charlotte vicinity just because it's the, the big city that's close there. <laughs> yeah, Pat. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, this is the second time that I've missed the GPS. There he is. Leon Corona. Thank you there, man. Appreciate that. I'm not sure. Is, is, uh, is that a minute? Did I come through? Oh, dude, I totally missed that, man. I'm sorry, dude. $5 there, Frey Shaker Love. Thank you there, Le Leon. Appreciate it, man. Oh, thank you there, Deuce. Happy Thanksgiving to you too, friend. Appreciate that, man. Don't forget, guys, to interrupt this giveaway, man. We rolling, uh... <laughs> it's in my garage. We are, uh... Ten minutes, man. Ten minutes we're gonna roll this out, man. Oh, nice, Rick. I know about where 77 is. Hey, <laughs> you're missing it on the left. You know what, Mike? You're probably right. <laughs> you were actually probably... Yeah, you're right. Alright, here we go. What is it about people leaving the Jake wreck on when you shift? Is it that in the real world? Do, do we update them by ourselves? So when you do from his cell file, the good thing about his, Gabriel, uh, is when you buy any of his mods, they'll automatically come from cell file whenever he updates them. Um, so whenever he uh, completes the update, you'll get an email with the down new download link for the new files, which is nice. That's why I think, uh, honestly, it's why I think uh, cell file is really good on uh, what's really good on that front. It's good. Yeah, okay, whatever. Do I play with Dubman? I don't play with anybody, Will. Nope. Everybody just, uh, they never ask. They just assume that I won't, but they, you know, they'll, they'll show up to convoys and stuff. Not really uninvited, but unannounced, and then they get mad and we don't really let them join in because we just assume they're a bunch of trolls. But, um, you know, I've never really played with really anybody because I didn't, I didn't play with too many people and get into too many groups, like, growing up in my quote-unquote YouTube early days um, I had some guys that you know that uh, that wanted to try to pick me up for farm sim but it just wasn't it wasn't like my group you know it wasn't guys that I meshed well with uh, personalities were really different so I just didn't want to 
I just felt like it was weird to just share all of their groups and all of their people. Like, um, I wasn't really interested in, uh, you know, uh, partnering with them because I was like, I'm not going to just trade Super Chats with the guys. You know, like, if they give me five, they want me to give them five back because it looks good on stream. I'm like, no, if you're going to give me five, I'm not giving it back to you. Um, like, if you want to do something, just, like, ask. You don't have to come in here and buy it. But anyway, uh, that was a pretty much a train wreck. And... Um, and learned a lot about what not to do when it came to people. I know those people still talk about me in Facebook now. And they don't have YouTube channels. And uh, they pretty much bombed. And they still talk about me and still hate me. And so I don't really do much with other people. I just don't. I just feel like it's a it's a not really a waste, but I don't I don't want you guys to find me because someone else told you to just go check this guy out. You know, like I don't know. I just. I'd rather you come here and be like, hey, I'm glad I found this guy, rather than, you know, I'm glad someone sent me here, I came and I subscribed, but yet I'm not going to watch his videos because he's not really who I want to follow. You know what I mean? Like, it just didn't make a lot of sense to me doing that, but, um, you know, working with people is totally different, I guess, but, yeah, there, there's a long and winded story of that. Yeah, I ain't got no, uh, I don't have any patience for a 30 hour uh, ETS convoy. Rolling Coal 15, man. Thank you there for the two buck tip. What's a good starter PC? You're looking to get one. Well, so here's what my advice is to everybody that says they want to get a uh, PC uh, and it's their first one. What should they get? Um, you should first look at a couple of pre-builds if you're not comfortable building it yourself. Um, and I can give you some company names if you wanted to DM me on DM me on, um, uh, DM me on uh, what you call it uh, Discord. The first, but the second thing you really you're going to want to do is you're really going to want to like figure out how much you can really budget, and I mean how much you can really budget. And do you do you want to do this for like? You can play ATS right now on a $600 computer. You probably won't like the results um, because if you're going to start modding, then it's going to take a lot more processing to do that. So um, there, there's a lot of variables with just ATS, but then if you decide to get into other games, maybe you start playing Call of Duty, maybe start doing these other games, and they just require a lot more. Um, so probably the first thing is figuring out how much you actually want to spend on it. And I don't mean how much you're like, well, I'd really like to run every game on Ultra on two monitors for about $500. Can I make that happen? No. no not going to happen. Decide whether or not you're going to go 4K, all those kind of things. Like, there's a, there's quite a few things to, uh, quite a few things that you need to look at. Pre-built, Digital Storm's good. Uh, they're a really good company. Thanks there, Hick Transport Gaming Man. Appreciate it. Number one fan there for $10, man. Danny Johnson, thank you there for your sub. I forgot yours in there. Thank you as well. Appreciate it. Um, but, uh, yeah, that, that, I don't know. That's just a couple of things I would tell you. If you think, well, I can spend $1,000, but if it's going to take 1200 to get the upgraded graphics card or the upgraded CPU, do it. If it means waiting a month to the next paycheck to get that extra $200, do it. Seriously, it'll pay off in the long run. And don't be scared to ask communities for help. Um, a lot of times, though, it becomes a, um, you know, how big my PC is and, oh, I can run 4K, I can run three 4K monitors on a 3 gig card. You, you can't do it. You, you just can't do it. <laughs> just, you know. Ah, your game keeps crashing in Colorado. <laughs> uh, it's probably old map mods uh, or it's a traffic graphic mod. What's up, Chris? Yeah, y'all. Yeah, y'all know y'all can always look. There it is, man. It's actually good for a Freightliner, dude. It's a really nice, beefy, heavy haul. Uh, Power GPUs out of Raleigh, North Carolina. They've got some legit stuff going on. Uh, Feg PC, FEG PC. They build a lot of iRacing ones, which are comparable to ATS style graphics. Um, both of those, all three of those companies, I've, you know, at least seen a lot about. Um, but, um, yeah, man, I, mean, I think just putting, posting some general questions in some discords that are trucking or even Facebook groups, tell them, first thing, don't just say, what can I buy? Give them a price. Say, I'm going to, I'm going to put $1,200 into it. What would be the better 
components to, to purchase and really look at for um, uh, for ATS, ETS, whatever it is game you want to play. So, hey, what's up, Z? Mr. Z Bolette, uh, we are uh, we're the N14 loop with uh, with what you call it. We got that one, man. Yeah, yes, but yeah. Origin, Origin's pretty good. They they can be pricey though. That they can get pricey. Yeah, a Nightbot, uh, no, there are no, uh, there are no, none of those for me. I don't have that out yet because my mods change so much and they change via the profile. I've got about five profiles now set up, some for different trucks, uh, some for different groups of trucks that work really well together. So, honestly, dude, they're kind of all over the place, man. They change like crazy. Sinister, oh. Man, dude, thanks, Sinister. Appreciate it, man. Nice to have these guys. Dude's 42, man. Some mods of the channel. Big supporters of this channel, man. Uh, Kales as well. We also got a giveaway going around, man. A couple of super chats in there. Sinister uh, with a nice $50 happy Thanksgiving, man. I, man, I appreciate it, dude. Y'all don't have to do that, man. I'm uh, I'm grateful that you guys want to support, man. So I appreciate that. And, uh, and Deuce as well, man. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you guys have a... A good turkey day, no matter what it is you guys are doing. Hope people that are traveling tomorrow be safe. It's going to get crazy out there. Hopefully not. Oh, come on, Mike. You're so stuck up when it comes to ATS mods, man. <laughs> All worried about pronunciations of words and such in the English language and getting the right emphasis on the right syllable. Always correcting my grammar. <laughs> Uh, I'm just kidding, man. I wouldn't have it any other way, Mike. Actually, I would, but it's okay. I'm not going to have it that way, so it is what it is. <laughs> now, Mike, Mike's, uh, he's been here a while, man. Mike is here no matter what we do. So, I, I, can, uh, I can throw some shade Mike's way. Oh, well, that's good, man. All right, well, yeah, hopefully uh, we, we should be able to stream tomorrow. I don't see why not. Here we go. Oh, she's running down the hill right now, man. Oh, this load is pushing me down the hill. They're getting a little dated there, that dude. That dude. They're getting a little bit dated. It is the uh, 7700K, which I know is right. It's like, wow, that's so like, you know, a few years ago there at FUG. It is about time to upgrade some, some pieces. I would like to go back triples again. I'd do like a 2K, do 1440p. Um, at least do 2K with, uh, with triples again. That would be nice. Can't do 4K with triples, not right now. I'm not going to try to spend five grand on a PC just to run 4K triples. That would be an ex extremely a long, large amount, but uh, <laughs> Robert, <laughs> yeah, yeah, forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, 7700 k got 32 gig of RAM, 1080 Ti. That's the gist of it. Power supply to match, and dot two drives to match. You know, um, water cooled, liquid. That's pretty much it. 1080 on, then I run a 1060 gets all my stream stuff. So it basically encodes the entire stream, which is nice. So, oh, thanks so much for the content. Thanks there, Tanner. Appreciate it. I think he was one of our big winners there, all the way from Canada. Uh, big winners there on our last giveaway. What's up, Jersey 09? Good to see, you, man. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I could do 1080. I mean, I could do 1080 triples. Uh, some mods are just a lot, man. By the time you add JDX and then you add all the other trucks and trailers and stuff in there, they're just a, such a higher quality. Like I can always do MP and triples. Like that never really bothers me. Um, but uh, to do the other ones, man, it's a little. Yeah. It gets a little heavy and start adding John Rudas in there. Then you put the custom reefers on there with all of the reflections and the chromes and stuff. And then you put that on triple wides. It's, it's even for a 1080 Ti. It's a lot. It's a lot. Well, I, I I I can. I don't normally stream it because people didn't like it. Um, 
and I think there's there's probably a there's a, there's probably a list of people that would like it and a list of people that don't really care for it or they don't really matter whatever they're just here for the stream no matter what I do um, but uh, and I'm, I guess I'm kind of like that I, I would like to get back to it again though because I actually do like ATS and triples it's nice so nice power uh, Derek we are hauling that big old uh, crane uh, not crane it's excavator Lee Bear excavator it's on the Central Rail Run here Pingas uh, this is the Fontaine Magnitude trailer. This is a really nice, beefy one. Uh, Kale's been dropping some links. I'm sure he could probably grab you a link there if he's feeling generous tonight. Football on the truck, yes. What's up, TB? Good to see TB in the house. All the way from, uh, all the way from the UK, man. Road to tractor today. Thanks, man. Tyrone, what's up, buddy? Want to get the 3090? I mean, 39 would be nice, man, but I don't know if I can justify the kind of price the 39 is asking right now. I mean, it's 2500 for the 3090. I mean, 3080 is running a good price. I mean, 3080, you know, you're, you're essentially getting that 2080 Ti price point for the same amount of performance, a little bit faster. Um, I mean, I know a lot of people have been talking about the 3080 is crushing some games on the triples. Uh, I've been running a fourth monitor to boot, so I mean that might be a good option for me. I won't go any lower than the 3080, but I don't know, 3090 is just for price point, man. It's just, God, it's a lot, man. It's a lot. Yeah, 69, I know, man. Everybody's telling me about the XT. I'm, I'm more of a, I've always been, at least with this one, because I'm comfortable with it. I just, I, I feel more comfortable going in that NVIDIA, um, because I've messed with the triple setups and, um, the drivers I've had pretty I've had a lot of uh, experience with the drivers um, and then running uh, Asus for everything else so I, I thought about running the EVGA uh, card and then running the Asus uh, motherboard with uh, all the trimmings <laughs> there we go Colorado Woo! that was kind of the uninteresting entry into it it's a lot prettier out of the web but Six hundred for for I mean, I mean it's not gonna be the greatest. You're not gonna be able to run a ton of mods or run uh, a ton of really heavy heavy settings. If you're running a single monitor, you might be able to do okay. You might have to turn a few things down here or there, but I mean it, it'll definitely be more of a budget build. So you'll have to, you know, you'll you'll have to balance. You'll have to balance what you have to what you want to run. I did trip. Yeah, I don't, I, we don't sleep anymore, man. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't sleep in this anymore. Yeah, AMD, like, I mean, they, they did really well. The thing that always has gotten me about AMD and the thing that I've, you know, because I hear and see so many people come through this Discord to have a, an assortment of computer tech. And what I always continually keep hearing is that the, uh, the AMDs are, are good cards but what gets lost in translation is the drivers for them and uh, the problems that people have out of the drivers so I, I've just kind of you know I've gotten to the point to where I'm just like eh, I don't know all right let's uh, let's go ahead let's put it seven o'clock if we can crap Whoops, hello. There's your Jake. <laughs> Favorite game to play is probably Flight Sim. But nobody will watch it, and I don't have the time to open up secondary channels and all that stuff. <laughs> That's probably the one I get the most enjoyment out of. That actually inspired me to get my real, pri uh, real private's pilot license instrument rating so yeah I never I, I never really had to drive a gig of my CDLs but be a pilot yes I wanted to do that so you know uh, Bill so we'll do the giveaway I don't know I'm probably not going to make it all the way it actually could take a little bit longer to do this trip than I thought it was I thought well, yeah this won't be too bad this will be a nice single single lane trip
Well, evidently only you do trip. That does not view well. And neither does Firefighter Simulator. That's another one. People don't watch that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think you love FTG. <laughs> uh, yes, it is a pretty low gear on this one. Yeah, because we're, we're already sitting around 1400 at 60, so that might be why it actually feels like it's moving fast, but it's not really not. New Mexico and Colorado, but you're crashing at a town. Uh, question is, do you have any old map mods that you didn't sell garages at, or map mods that are left in their looper? That's your, probably your culprit when it's dealing with that. I mean, anything. Coast to coast, Canada. I don't care if the road even goes near it. Graphics mods and map mods for this particular update was a killer. So if you have any of that stuff, take it out. Sell the trucks. If you took trucks out and truck took maps out, you need to sell the garages in the cities that it no longer has. That's that's the couple of couple of tips there on that one. Because if you don't sell the trucks, you got traffic mods that you took out, anything like that, anything that adds anything to traffic, freight market stuff. Uh, you could be crashing on a trailer that was not sold, but you took the mod out. Now the game's trying to find that, and it's actually populating that in a particular city. That could be in Colorado, or at least on your way there. So, yeah. <laughs> Not all trucks do, but if you take trucks out that aren't updated, you need to sell them before you get before you get rid of them. Because a lot of times, you, you, a lot of times you run into stuff that's totally unrelated to it. You know what I'm saying? Like you just do. <laughs> yeah, I did, Jake. <laughs> My bad, man. I'm sorry about that. I like it, man. I like this thing with the minor pipes on it, man. That thing just looks mean. What's good for old Frank Shaker? <laughs> yeah, you and everybody else, Tanner. <laughs> I was like, well, that's the better create some new profiles because, yeah, these are all screwed. <laughs> yeah, because once you lose an engine mod, man, that's it. That's all she's got. Let's see what we at 199. We might we might make it to the next city. Let's make it to the next city. This is probably Denver, y'all watch. This is the best drive, man. This right here, y'all y'all are gonna say like the best drive in Colorado. If you haven't seen it yet, shame on you, but anyway, you'll enjoy. I am too, Bill. I am too. Yeah, we're racing to Denver, man. We're gonna have to squeeze into this tanker right here. Everybody suck in. Nice man, convoys go down through here. You guys need to make sure you get Colorado. Fall sale, so be looking for ATS to put some things on sale as well. I didn't mean to make that rhyme. I kind of did. It's about time. I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop there. Uh, yeah, so make sure that it's, uh, you're checking out. Make sure you put anything you want right now on the wish list. Make sure that you put it in there and make sure that you um, uh, also let uh, Steam know that you're interested in those items. So that way it'll send you some alerts whenever they do either go on sale uh, or they uh, or they they come up for some kind of promotion type deal because um, you probably can get that stuff super dirt cheap. Just got to be paying attention when all that stuff goes on sale. So I saw that Steam fall sales on there now. I was like, whoop, it's time going to be time to get something new. Man, we just uh, passed.
passed a whole crowd of peeps, didn't we? Yeah, I am. It's nice, man. It's nice. I don't play GTA now. I used to, man. But then when they made me, uh, when they when they basically killed my profile because I I ported it from Xbox 360 to PS4, they're like, yeah, you can't do that again. You're gonna need to re reset your profile and buy some shark cards to get yourself back in the same shape. I was like, yeah, no, that's not happening, buddy. <laughs> that one's not happening. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's Rockstar, man. They only let you port a profile once, which is which is a shame. So one time was all I got. So it, I, I moved from Xbox 360 GTA all the way up to PS4, and uh, yeah. When I moved up to PC, I was trying to pull the same character up via the social club that would let me. Like, you've already ported this once, and that's all we allow. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. I mean, you know, we're talking millions of dollars done on legit console. And, uh, you know, no shark cards, but oh my gosh, you know, we wore out those heists like crazy, man. I mean, it's just the only way to make any money in that game on console. Besides, you know, doing those same just, oh my gosh, those same ridiculous missions over and over and over. I could still I could still replay them in my mind. We did them so many times. Anyway, yeah, so that was the end of mine, man. I was like, I'm done. I'm done. I tried, but I just couldn't do it anymore. And I was too scared to do the whole modded profile thing, so I was like, man, I don't really want to really want to jump down this one time. Not really, Leon. Uh, there's not, I don't really, I mean, I know of one interior on it. The, the exterior is pretty good, man, but the exterior, the exterior, I, it's, yeah, I'm not a big fan. Yeah, edible, yeah, we just roll it, man. Figure, why not, man? We just, uh, we got us a nice roll here on the passing lane. Nobody's, uh, jumped in front of us, and we have not wrecked yet, so, as far as I'm concerned, man, we, we're rolling pretty good. And that's, uh, and that's sad, Bull. That's sad. I bet I would. I bet I would. You know how I know? I bet there are more volunteer firefighters. <laughs> that will go back to it. I bet there's more volunteer firefighters that subscribe to me than have watched that last video. Because people only come to me for ATS, so I could stream, stream anything. And there's a potential that I'd have thousands of people watching me, but how many months of work is going to take me to get there? Or years. To break into those genres. GTA is a genre all by itself. I, I just don't necessarily know that everybody's going to come in here and watch me do it. So. I thought they'd come in here and watch me fight fires, but nope. You just want to see the Peter Man. That's all I want to see. How's Airhorn? You'd have, you'd have to get you a horn model here. All right, here we go. Going to climb up here, Steamboat. She gonna work now. She gonna put in some work. There's plenty, there's plenty, bull. There's plenty that watch it, eat it, live it, sleep it, drive it. But they won't watch anything else. They just won't do it. But I'm not big enough to have multitude of different communities, you know. Some of these big guys that give views on anything because they've got, you know, a quarter of their base likes this, a quarter of them like this, a quarter of them like this. And, and me, it's like everyone family because ATS and that's all they watch me do. And no, no flight sim. You know, no, no firefighter simulator. Um, you know, rally 100 miles an hour through the woods. Nah, I ain't got time for that. NASCAR, eh, maybe, but only one race. You know, so it's weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's 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 not that great. It's it's just a little. It's it's dated, man. It need, really needs someone to come in and do a nice interior for it. The exterior is pretty. Just the rest of it's not all that great. 
Oh yeah, it's the enemy of the senses. Yeah, yeah. I saw that MHP. I'll, I'll um, as soon as he gets that update in there, I'm, I'm definitely gonna throw that back in here. Get that sucker going, man. I guess we got a tunnel in here. Hill grades, here we go. Oh, yeah, we're gonna finish this out, man. We're almost there, man. We'll fin it out. We'll, we'll race to the end here. We're, we're literally on the back stretch. And don't forget, man, you guys don't go anywhere because we're giving away that Freightliner, this truck that we're in. Yeah, truck is in the description there, Lucas and Jess Mods uh, 507 on Facebook. Send him a message, tell him, hey, I'm interested in that. Uh, it's $25. Uh, tell them you're interested in that Freightliner Classic, and you saw it on FTG stream. I always like for guys to say where they got it, you know. I like for the, these content creators, I like for those guys to know, hey, you know, who's who's driving the mods, who's, you know, who's uh, not necessarily who's selling them, uh, but where the, you know, where the sales and stuff are coming from. It's always nice, man. Well, good, rolling. I'm glad, man. Glad. Not yet there, Control Chaos. We're, we'll do it here once we get to Denver, which we literally got 47 miles. So just hold tight. Now nah, we won't do another leg. It's uh, right at two hour mark. Runaway truck, man. I love that, man. That, that Jake with the windows down. They don't have as much wind as I. I think the wind's been toned down quite a bit. I like that sign that said, Truckers, you're not down yet. Why is this guy going to pull right off in front of me, man? Come on, bro. Now we're at jail. What's up, Walker? How are you, man? Uh, actually, I left Lane Outlaw. I actually did. Uh, actually, we, we pulled quite a few down the uh, Million Dollar Highway. I did that for the Colorado video. We kind of did one there, Thomas. We're going to take this white van out. You watch. Nope, he's going to pass. All right. Woo! Just slide on in here. We're sliding with their DMs on the 55. Here we go. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> you uh, play, you're looking, looking to get into some DCS tonight, I guess. <laughs> Uh, Western Star, uh, we do have some friends that have a Western Star. Uh, Blades has got a nice one. We got a nice uh, 4800 SP from uh, from Mr. Cash Shadow Walker 2. Good, man. <laughs> yeah, you hear that little whistle in there, man. I, I like that asphalt. You're not down yet. Keep on waiting there, FTG. Not down yet. Depends on where we're going, how interesting it is. So we're going to the rail export, which I think is a little bit redesigned.
said wolf. No offense, but Max sucks. No, well, we're not driving one, so that's a good thing. American Eagle, I think of there, Luis uh, Barga, Vegas, thank you there, man. Whoa, where did that truck come? Did you see a <laughs> lob skip the jump there? Woo! All right, man. I was afraid of that. Try something here. Try and see what.
not going to give it to us. We're going to take it anyway. <laughs> All right, man. In Denver. Yes. That was, that was actually a, that was actually pretty, uh, for me anyway, that was a long one. All right, let's give one away, man. We say, man, we got 300 in the house. <laughs> I think they're Alpha Star Project, man. Uh, here we go. Let's pick a winner. And three, two, one. And it goes to, oh, whoa. <laughs> Look at there, man. Wow. Look at there, Edible King coming in a big winner, man. Now John did not win, unless John is Edible. <laughs> What's O for? Oh, crap. Is that like good or is that bad? Oh, crap. <laughs> I couldn't tell. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah actually i know i know right man <laughs> all right well congrats there man we'll get you uh i know you're in the discord so we'll uh so we'll get you we'll get you something here man um i'm gonna check too uh just because I, I think um i think tanner hey tanner I, I don't know if you answered me on discord or not uh i'm gonna pull my discord up Yeah, so uh, I was curious, man, if uh, if if Jess got that one to you. <clears throat> I was curious on that one. Let me know if you're still around. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, there you are. Yeah, let me know if you got it. If you if you don't, we'll send him another message and, and remind him, uh, just in case. Okay, he got. It. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, sweet. All right, well, I'll do another one then. I know it's always he's a little bit later. I'm not sure what the time zone is. I'm sure there's a difference there. I'm just not sure what it is. Um, so cool, man. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, let's let that one be our, our big, uh, ride for tonight. Uh, here's a couple things. Don't forget Saturday is our big ATS convoy. So I'd love to have everybody out. Um, I am in the discord available to everybody to hang out, talk with drive. Um, our convoys usually consist of anywhere between low numbers or sixties. Uh, our high number convoys are somewhere in the eighties as high as 100, 110s. We've had a couple of 110s in there. Um, last, I think the last one before all of this Colorado and stuff came out, we were somewhere necking around 80 some to 90 trucks. Um, it's a big group. It's a huge convoy. Um, they've actually kind of reached out and told us we, we might want to think about our own private servers. Uh, but it's still kind of cool to do this with everybody else looking. And, uh, and it's kind of our own little, you know, our own little um, thing with a company that, uh, it's a good reach out rather than spamming everybody links as we drive down the, the road and stuff. It's kind of nice to do this. So, um, so, but anyway, uh, we'll do that Saturday. Uh, I will try to stream tomorrow. i just, it depends on what's going on. I know we're going to kind of do things with our family here. Um, if I, if I don't stream tomorrow, we'll definitely go Friday and Saturday. Uh, if for some odd reason I am able to do tomorrow and something comes up, I'm like, yeah, we could definitely stream that tomorrow. Uh, then I may, I may take one of those Fridays. I may take Friday off. Um, uh, we've been streaming quite a bit here. I don't necessarily like taking long breaks, uh, but a day break here or there is nice, especially around the holidays. Um, cause I know you guys want to hang with fam too, uh, and maybe out, out of town. So, uh, but anyway, uh, that's it for me. Don't forget that Saturday. Don't forget to look down in the description. Jess Mods links there. $25 for this one. It's a great truck. Uh, I have, hopefully that I never sell you guys wrong on trucks that we feature here on the channel. We've got more coming up. Don't forget December 1st. I keep racking that your brain. Uh, make sure you follow me here on Full Tilt uh, on Twitter. I'm going to start trying to do a little bit more with Twitter. I got a brand new phone. 
And uh, we're going to be making some uh, small adjustments here and cleaning up, trying to do a setup video for you guys because I've actually got some cool stuff to do, some video footage now. So I'm going to try to work on that this weekend if I can. I would like to put that together for you guys to kind of talk about what I've got, uh, excluding the setup, and we'll make some additions and some some revisions uh, along down the line, but it's fine. Anyway, that's just a few things that update to what I've got going on, but I, we've updated the wheels and pedals, and just kind of want to showcase all that stuff and let you guys see it. Um, don't forget December 1st, we're going to draw for the rolling 3d nine mod. That's something that everybody wants. So make sure that you fill out the gleam, uh, the dot IO link is, uh, for the giveaway, uh, for that three and it's a $105 mod. Make sure you fill that out and that way you can be, uh, entered into that. There's like five different ways to enter. You get points for each one that you complete and that enters your name in there. So you can have up to total of five entries into that. Um, other than that, man, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, my shifter, I can talk about it, but it's not going to be recreated like this unless the guy that built this one decides to build another one to give to somebody. Um, there's only other, other guy, Southern Trucker Gamer on Facebook, but he's not doing these just because of cost, I guarantee you, and because of what it, this one actually takes machining. Um, it's not just uh, drilling out for, you know, for Hall Effect sensors and some other um, stuff. It's actually been machined on and uh, been done um, done legit. So, uh it's uh it's nice i can still talk about it um uh, and just kind of tell you what it is but mainly between the shifter and your steering wheels and and all the other button boxes and just kind of give you a one over what i've got kind of list through some things i wanted to do that i have not done that in like ever so uh thanks sean levins appreciate it man you have yourself a wonderful turkey day man uh i thank you guys for uh for all of the uh, support tonight man it's it's um it's very humbling man i appreciate you guys um you know coming in and wanting to uh, sharing some of that with me as well. That's um, it's 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 really nice, I man. Brian King, uh, thank you there. Seth Boone there for the giveaway, man. Appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> and I got you on the. Uh, sorry about about the tax thing. I got you there. Sir Kales covered up a little bit extra for the next one, man. So thank you there, Kales, uh, as always there. Adrian, uh, thank you there all the way from Deutschland, Bavaria. So thank you there, Adrian Danka, uh, and uh, Patrick D there. Uh, thank you there for your five. Crazy Wolfman three. Leon there with five. Deuce with the twenty. Uh, Hicksport Gaming there with the ten. Rolling Cole with the two dollar tip. Man, appreciate it. Sinister with a big old fat fifty. Man for the big Thanksgiving uh, turkey day. So appreciate it, Sinister. As always, man, you guys are awesome. Tanner, thank you there for your seven there on the Canadian side. Uh, and Sean there, thanks for closing this down, man, with a nice fifteen super chat there on the turkey day, man. So appreciate it. Uh, and uh, thank you, Sarah Chris. Appreciate it. I like to think I'm a cool dude. I mean, I'm I'm just me, man. I'm me, man. What you see is what you get, man. I don't fake it for YouTube. I'll tell you what I think in a heartbeat. <laughs> and uh, whether that's good or bad. And I'll always give you my honest opinion on stuff. Uh, so if you guys got questions, man, feel free to ask questions about these mods. Uh, my thoughts and feels on different things. We've got a lot going on in the ATS world. Hopefully, I might even be able to do a little update vid uh for uh for ats just depending on uh there's a lot of things going on a lot of people are thinking this way this way that way that way there's a lot of stuff going on so uh at any rate man it's it's awesome um and uh, i appreciate it guys so make sure you check the descriptions all the links for most of the stuff is there my setup stuff is at the very bottom so scroll down here you can see basically a list of all that i have some of my stream gear um as well as i think computer basic specs and stuff are all down there again so yeah yeah you are late again, man. Thank you there, Leon. Appreciate it, man. Uh, I'll check it there, Brian. No problem, man. Oh, I'm from Vladimir. What's up? Thank you there, man. Appreciate it. Uh, Floyd, you guys have a good one, man. And uh, if I don't talk to you tomorrow night, you guys have a very safe Thanksgiving if you're with family, especially with your elders, man. There's a lot of this virus stuff swarming around. Um, and uh, make sure you either wear a mask or stay enough away, man, that you don't give it to you, fam, if you're uh, someone else is catching it. The last thing you want is, man, to be in the hospital bed on a ventilator. Trust me, because I know I've been there, and it's uh, nowhere you want to be. Yes, it is 25 there, Edible. Um, so, uh, so anyway, yeah, take care of yourselves. Take care of your fam, man, if you guys are going to be out. Um, do the right thing, and I will uh, hopefully see you guys here on uh, to either tomorrow or Friday. We'll stream either day, and uh, hopefully we'll see you. So you guys have a great Thanksgiving, good turkey day, and uh, we'll see you later, guys. Peace out.